Brownies are a fascinating part of Scottish mythology and folklore. Brownies are said to be sinister mythical spirits of the home, small, benevolent, and very helpful creatures. These creatures roam the world happily and often lend themselves as faithful helpers to perform household chores. Although modest in appearance, brownies are robust and vigorous beings, capable of performing tasks that defy their small size. Their faces are hidden under thick dark hair, and their bodies are covered with brown, rough skin. Generally, they wear clothes made of roots or moss, avoiding any kind of human garment. But don't be fooled by their apparent servitude. Brownies are proud beings who value their freedom. Despite their willingness to help, they prefer to remain invisible and do not wish to be rewarded or bound in any way to humans. According to ancient legends, these tiny mysterious beings are famous for their love of work and their innate inclination towards acts of kindness, for while humans sleep, the brownies come out of their hiding places, would take advantage of the dark and cold human nights to approach the remote farms and do certain tasks, such as milking, feeding the animals or cleaning the enclosures. Enjoying feeling useful and feeling very happy and proud to do so, thus upon waking, the humans find things miraculously solved. These tiny creatures so sought out warm homes to do housework that many of them came to establish a special relationship with the humans they helped. However, great care had to be taken, for a brownie is a completely unpredictable and very volatile being. Although they were calm creatures, full of peace and happiness, they could also turn into beings full of anger and resentment, and if they felt offended, they would disappear without a trace. On many occasions, they can even undo the tasks they enjoy doing so much and even leave a much bigger mess and mess. The only way to thank a brownie for their chores without offending them is to leave them a bowl of cream, a freshly baked muffin, or a cake topped with honey. So too, a little home brew will quench these amazing creatures' thirst for gratitude. With that, a brownie feels already paid for all his deeds and will not need or ask for anything else in return. But if you try to buy their affection with other kinds of things, such as clothes, the brownie will feel extremely offended and will leave human life just as it entered it, without warning. These majestic creatures have, for generations, visited the homes of peasants, and many of their tales transcend the ages. One of the most fascinating tales of these magical spirits tells of a lonely old widow who once lived in a small house in the Scottish countryside. The house was always clean and tidy, the food was cooked to perfection, and the garden bloomed with beautiful rose bushes. The old woman was known in the village for her diligence and skills in keeping her house so neat, that many sought her out for her advice and secrets, but she always replied with a tender smile. Love the things you do, but what the villagers didn't know was that she had a little helper, a brownie. He was a small creature, barely bigger than a cat, but he had incredible strength. During the night, when the old woman went to bed, the brownie would come out of his hiding place, which was in a tiny hole in the wall by the fireplace. She would clean the house, prepare the food, and tend the garden with unparalleled dedication and love. She sought no grandeur or riches and all she asked for in return was a delicious bowl of cream and some bread. The old woman, very happy and grateful to know that in her humble house lived a magical being, left him on a table and on a rock the delicious simple delicacies that the brownie adored. As time went by, the old woman saw how the little being worked so hard helping her with the hard tasks at home that she wanted to reward him in another way. In her eyes, what she gave him every night was insufficient to show her love and grace, and she looked for ways to give him more to make her feel satisfied. One night, the old woman decided to leave him a little green coat and a pair of matching shoes on the kitchen table along with his food. That night, the brownie found the magnificent gifts and, extremely offended by the woman's pretense, disappeared up the chimney without a trace and was never seen in the old woman's house again. From then on, the house was not so clean, the food was not so well cooked and the garden did not bloom so much. The old woman realized her mistake, but it was too late the brownie had left her home for good. The tradition of brownies in Scotland was so great that in many old homes, there is what was known as a brownie stone. It was here that the food of these enigmatic and mysterious beings was deposited. They were beings of a magical and mysterious charm, 
a beautiful paradox hidden in the heart of Scottish mythology.